It's your Radio Northwick Park. This is South London Pop Princess AME. Originally signed by Gary Barlow, she's written with Emily Sandy and already has a number one single under her belt. But today, she's not making hit records, she's playing them. She's come to Northwick Park Hospital in Middlesex to volunteer on the hospital radio station. Hi. Hey. Hi, Amy. Hi. Nice to meet you. Meeting the volunteers was incredible. And we have Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Nice to meet you. Hi. I think a lot of people feel like radio stations are, you know, run by older people, so it's nice to know that teenagers and people my age are doing such an incredible job. This evening we'll all be going around the wards, visiting some patients, mm -hmm. collecting some requests, and um, basically just providing some company to some patients as well. Amazing. Keep clean. We went around the wards, meeting patients and taking requests for the show. Doing the rounds at the moment, collecting some song requests. Do you would like to hear something today on the radio? Uh, blurred light. Oh, I a like his know. So we visited a patient who requested blurred lines. Would you like to dedicate blurred lines to anyone? My optician. Your optician. Oh, oh. <laughs> when the patient was asked who he dedicated blurred lines to, he said his optician. <laughs> Being a little bit slow, I was like, right, your wife's there. Why are you not dedicating it to your wife? It's a joke. I'm a sense of humour, sorry. <laughs> And then obviously blurred lines, optician. There you go. Good joke. That was quite funny. <laughs> That's going to have to get a special mention on air, I think. <laughs> Meeting Jade was amazing. It was really awesome to have somebody, yeah, who is, you know, kind of my age, take me around and really educate me on what it is that the guys do and what the other volunteers do as well. I've known about the radio station since I was about 13. Um, my mum spent quite a lot of time in hospital, unfortunately, when I was a teenager. So I used to come and visit her quite a lot after school, and I'd always see the Radio Northwick Park volunteers, and she'd always talk about, you know, they played my Dolly Parton tune on the radio, it made me so happy, and um, she always said, you know, Joe, you should go for it. So what's your role now in the radio station? So I started out as a uh, normal volunteer, collecting requests, going on air, reading them out, things like that. When I was 19, I took on the role of a volunteers coordinator. And basically it means that I get to recruit new volunteers, new young people for the radio station and for the charity, and um, basically inject my passion for the charity into them. Once we'd done the ward round, we came back down to the studio and did a brainstorm with the team, um, spoke about topics that we would include in the show. Just a few rules, no swearing. Um, Standard. Yeah, no <laughs> being boring. That's about it, really. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then we went over to the studio and did the show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Radio Norfolk Park, and welcome to The Request Show. Tonight, I'm joined by Jade, Emma, and our very special guest, AME. How's it going? Welcome to the show. Hey, hey, hey. Doing the radio show was a lot of fun, especially getting to do it with people my age. So, AME, when you're not down here volunteering with us, what else do you get up to? This year's been pretty manic. I went to LA to finish off my album. I'm currently on tour with Jesse J. Um, oh, wow. Doing some really, really amazing venues. I was born in Sierra Leone, West Africa, and radio was the only way that I could kind of hear things from other sides of the world or you know other countries that ultimately kind of shaped me as a pop artist I'd say. It's been really incredible the whole day has been amazing meeting patients having like a guided tour by um, Jade it's all <laughs> been really really incredible. I think I might quit singing and just be a radio presenter or something. <laughs> I think volunteering today has just you know showed me that volunteering can be a lot of fun it helps the people volunteering to build up their confidence and it also helps the patients of course that are going through a hard time kind of cheer them up a little bit. <laughs> all been an amazing amazing experience that's it for another great request show tonight guys we'll be back again tomorrow night thank you for listening radio northwick park if you want to help you can volunteer too the youth volunteering charity the inspired has lots of opportunities like this happening all across the country to find out more go to the four music website at fourmusic.com volunteer to start making it happen right now <laughs>